Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing a water marble video. I haven't done water marble in so long and I feel like I kind of miss doing like regular nail polish. So here I have three different colors. I have um, blue, pink, and white. Uh, I did apply some white base. Now, if my fingers <laughs> look really crusty and dry, is because uh, I clean around with the acetone. Um, just in case you're wondering. Now, I have some water right here. It's uh, room temperature water. Uh, it has to be room temperature water. I did use a uh, purified water, which is uh, water that I bought in a bottle. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. You're going to need your polish, your water, and you're going to need uh, something to make the design on the um, on the water with the nail polish. So we're going to start and then uh, we'll have a little talk at the end of the video. Okay, so before I get started, I want to show you my water marble tool. Uh, as you guys can see, it's very pointy. <laughs> you got to be careful. Now, I don't know why I never actually cleaned this old polish. Um, but I can definitely clean it with some acetone. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, um, make sure uh, the polish you're using is not super thick. It has to be a little bit watery, I would call it. Um, so drop the first drop. And then second. And then the other one. Oops. Try to always drop your drop in the middle. And you're just going to repeat it over and over until you feel like you have enough rings of polish. I don't know why that one was closing. Um, but I like when the nail polish spreads evenly. And as you guys can see, this uh, these polish actually spread pretty nice. I'm not gonna complain, especially since I haven't done this in so long. See, the blue one didn't want to spread, and then I put the pink one, and it kind of pushed the blue one to spread. Okay, so. I'm just going to add the pink and then that's it for this um, for this um, water marble. So I'm going to start making a design. So I'm going to just do random lines. And I always clean the tip of your tool. And then now I, I'm going to go in. And I'm going to press down in the middle. And there's so many designs that you can actually make. Okay, so I'm going to dip these two nails. Now keep them inside the water and then clean your clean your nail polish that you have over here on top of the water. Make sure you you get that polish out of the way before you take your nails out. Otherwise it's going to stick to your nails. And that's how my water marble looks. That turned out very good. Now it is kind of messy. Um, some people would use some latex around. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not complaining. They're actually pretty good. Especially because I haven't, I haven't done water marble in so many, I don't know, probably years. Maybe a couple years now. <laughs> Who knows? So we're going to do that all over again. Okay, and I don't want to make this video super long, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue this. And when I'm done, I'll be back to talk to you guys.
Hey guys, so before I continue, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my nails around. But before I continue and before I forget, I want to tell you guys, um, make sure that you get rid of all the polish left from each time you do the water marble. Um, otherwise, you're gonna run into problems, you guys. Uh, I almost forgot to say that. Also, um, there's so many designs you can actually do. I just, like I said, I haven't done them in so long. The only thing I was hoping that I was able to do the water marble on my nails and that it was not going to be a fail. But luckily enough, um, my water marble looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up and then I'll be back to show you guys. Alright guys, so this is how my nails look. I think they turn out pretty good. Uh, it uh, I think these nails, instead of using the pink, I would have used a uh, red that would have been perfect for uh, 4th of July. Um, and they were so easy to do. I'm so happy that my water marble came out pretty good, even though, I, like I said, I haven't done it in so long. And um, I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to leave any anything on the description box other than water marble nails because you guys can use any of the regular polish that you guys already have. And yeah, you guys, I just, I love going back to doing old stuff. Um, definitely, I'm a nail art girl and I love doing anything nails. Um, so yeah, other than that, I think we're done with this uh, video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, you guys. Bye.